the first thing, how many of you want to know the things you receive? ¿Cuánto quieren saber las cosas que reciben? Once you, once you do this. Because this is what started just driving me. Esto, to do it. esto fue lo que me empezó a motivar a mí a hacer esto. I was not a morning person. Yo no era una persona de mañana. I would be up late all night. Yo me pasaba despierto toda la noche. Sleep in the morning all day. Y dormía toda la mañana. Get up around 12. Y me levantaba como a las 12. 11. A las 11. Like a lot of preachers do. Como muchos predicadores. Santo. <laughs> Especially ones that in full-time ministry. Especialmente aquellos que están en el ministerio full-time. I, I, I didn't understand about the mornings. Yo no entendía nada de la mañana. I, I, I just, I thought I was doing God's will. Yo pensé que yo estaba haciendo la voluntad de Dios. Preaching to the people. Predicándole a la gente. Miracles happening. Milagros pasaban. Bless God, I pray at 11 a.m. Gloria a Dios, yo oro a las 11 de la mañana. God started to correct me. Y Dios empezó a corregirme. He says, your ministry. Él me dijo, tu ministerio will never be a ministry of honor nunca será un ministerio de honra if you don't get up in the morning. si tú no te levantas en la mañana. Well, the Bible says where God, it, it says, uh, 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 if a man therefore purge himself of these, he shall be a vessel of honor. Dice que si el hombre se purifica de estas cosas, será un vaso de honra. Sanctified and meet for the master's use. Santificado para el uso del maestro. I thought that That vessel of honor or the vessel of dishonor that's mentioned in 2 Timothy was talking about, you know, a vessel of honor that lives right, that lives holy. But it don't mean that at all. Y no significa eso. If you look those words up, si usted busca esas a palabras, vessel of honor, un vaso de honra, watch this, means a vessel of low means. Significa un vaso de low means. Low de, means. Uh, 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 low level, low rank. De baja de bajo rango o de baja habilidad means mm -hmm, yeah uh, uh, ability uh, and a vessel of honor means a vessel of great means y un de medios y un vaso de honra es un vaso de grandes medios in other words uh, God will keep your ministry on a small level en otras palabras Dios mantendrá tu ministerio en un nivel bajito a vessel of honor is a ministry that is fit for master's uses now what I mean by master's uses I'm not talking about you got your GED I'm talking about you got your master's or your PhD in the Holy Ghost and when you get that level God says now you are ready to get certain jobs that other people can't get in my kingdom to do a certain work un vaso de honra es un vaso que, que, que ya está listo para el uso del maestro, un, un uso maestro. No es que tiene una baja educación, sino que tiene una maestría o tiene un doctorado en la obra del Espíritu Santo. A lot of leaders and pastors, they, they wonder why their ministry only gets to a certain level and why God can only use them on certain levels. Muchos pastores y líderes se preguntan por qué su ministerio solamente llega hasta cierto nivel y que solamente Dios los puede usar hasta cierto nivel. And they say this, well, God called me to 25 and that's all he called me to, so I'm just going to be faithful there, bless God. And God ain't called everybody to do, that. listen, that ain't true. Ellos that, dicen, that's, that's the devil. Ellos dicen, He's well, lying to you. Dios me llamó a, a simplemente ministrar la 25, no todo el mundo va a pastorear muchos, yo simplemente soy fiel con lo que tengo. Eso no es verdad. How many people in this room can go to school and get their, get their PhD? ¿Cuántos aquí pueden estudiar y tener un doctorado? Todos nosotros. You study to show thyself approved unto God. Estudia para que seas aprobado delante de Dios. Unto God. Ante Dios. God is grading you. Dios te está dando una nota. All right. Una calificación. You ready? These are the things you receive in the morning. Estas son las cosas que recibes en la mañana. You receive new mercies. Recibes nuevas misericordias. Lamentations 3:22-23. Lamentaciones 3:22. It says, "New are thy mercies every morning; great is thy faithfulness." New are thy mercies every morning; great is thy faithfulness. Dice que la misericordia de Dios son nuevas cada mañana y grande es su fidelidad. Now, now let me say this to you. It didn't say new is your mercy. It said new is your mercies Dice, with an S on it. That's big. That's huge. No usa la palabra misericordia, sino usa la palabra misericordias en plural. Eso es grande. You want me to show you one mercy? Quiero enseñarle que le enseñe una misericordia. Now, I told you this last night, but I got to show you scriptures to show you the magnitude how important it is for you to get up and receive a new mercy every morning from God. Yo les enseñé esto anoche, pero quiero darle escrituras para que ustedes entiendan lo importante que es levantarse para recibir nuevas misericordias de parte de Dios. Isaiah 55. 
Isaiah 55. I love y'all so much Yo here. Los amo tanto aquí. Y'all are so fun to be with. Ustedes son tan divertidos. I'm so sorry I was so hard on y'all one time. Yo <laughs> me siento tan mal de que fui tan duro con ustedes en algún momento. Isaiah 55. <laughs> you ready? Now watch this. Escuche. Verse 3, 4. Ve- read it with me. Cuatro. What it says. Incline your ear and come unto me. Read. Hear and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Inclinad the, the, vuestro oído y venid a mí. Oíd y vivirá vuestra alma. Y haré con vosotros pacto eterno. Las misericordias firmes a David. Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and a commander to the people. Now, in, in other words, watch this. God is telling them, David is long time dead. He's saying, you come unto me and give ear to me. He says, I will make the same covenant I made with David with you. Él dijo, en otras palabras, ya David eh, eh, se murió hace tiempo, pero si tú vienes e inclinas tu oído hacia mí, yo te voy a dar a ti el mismo pacto que dice con David. God don't just have mercy. Dios no tiene simplemente misericordia. He have many, many multitudes and thousands and tens of thousands of mercies. Different types of them. And just one of them is the sheer mercies of David. Él tiene miles de miles de misericordias. Y uno de ellos es las misericordias firmes de David. Now what I told you about the hearts, you got to go study all those hearts. I don't have time to share it with you. There are a lot of mercies that's in the Bible. I, I don't have time to show them all to you. Usted tiene que estudiar esto por su propia cuenta. Hay muchas misericordias en la Biblia y no tengo el tiempo para enseñárselas todas. But I'm, I'm showing you this one so that you can go on a, a rampage and start going down that trail and getting all you can. Are you hearing this here? Pero le estoy enseñando esta para que usted se pueda ir a través de con esta pista a buscar todas las